Busy Stevens, Washington. Hey, Alex Karev, Iowa. This is nice, right? They throw a mixer for the new interns? Yeah. <laughs> it's just an excuse to get us all happy and drunk before they torture us. <laughs> what program are you in? Surgery. Seriously? Seriously. What? I I'd picked you for Diney or Peds or something. You don't think I can be a surgeon? I can be a surgeon. Surgery's hardcore. I'm hardcore. You won't last the first year, babe. Hey. Morning, Dr. Model. Evil Swan. Ooh. You forgot. You forgot? You are hateful! You are hateful! Hateful, lazy, dirty, hateful man! Very sweet once you get to know me. No, you're not. You're a good friend. Alex, never, ever, ever. What is she doing? <laughs> She's hanging out with Alex. Guys are wrong about him, all right? Once you get to know him, he's really sweet. He's Alex. Do you have a thing for Alex? No. Oh. Um, I don't. Oh. Hey. Hey, what? What? You an eyelash. Take a wish. No way. Why are you so afraid of showing people that you're a decent human being? I like the part where you treated me like crap the entire night. That was fun. I had a good time. Really? Yeah. What? You're not talking to me anymore? Fine. You know what, Alex? No, I'm not talking to you anymore. She shaved her legs for you. And, and you didn't even kiss her goodnight. She shaved her legs for you and you didn't follow through? Hey, I follow through. I always follow through. <laughs> you did last night. My I hate Alex. And the non sequitur award goes to. I'm sorry. I hate Alex. Why didn't you kiss Izzy? And now I'm leaving. It's, you're only ever nice or friendly or anything when it's convenient for you. So, no to your favor. No to you. No. What's up with you? I put on a dress. I did my hair. I had one night off in two weeks and I used it on you. And what do I get? Nothing. No respect. No apology. I couldn't even be bothered to kiss me goodnight. You're a coward, and you're just as shallow as you seem. So I am done trying to be your friend or whatever. I'm over it. What? What? Why do you have to be so... What is wrong with you? I like your rag. And I'd want them around if I could have them. Trust me, I would. But it wouldn't be the end of the world if you got rid of them. Because really... I want you. Ow. What was that for? I'll make her happy. Yeah. Is it? Leave. Can we please just talk? 
You're too busy screwing nurses to talk. Just get out. You know, you can't say that you weren't warned. Alex has always been Alex. You dodged a bullet, is. You're better off without him. Why are you even surprised? Sleep with a snake, you got bit. What's wrong with you? Are you sick? Fix so. it. I failed my practical board exam. And my allies helped me study. You failed your... You're helping? Just to study, nothing else. No, you don't get to say my name, and you were unbelievable. I know you're pissed at Alex, but maybe you could try to help him anyway. Sort of like in the spirit of this holiday you keep shoving down everybody's throats. Wake up. God, no wonder you failed your boards. What do you expect to learn this stuff by osmosis? What are you doing here? I'm a farmer, okay? I've been drooling, puking, and crapping my pants. And you came here to help me study? Well, I'm not actually crapping my pants now, am I? Well, why would you want to help me after what I did? Because it's what Jesus would freaking do! <laughs> Izzy. <laughs> I never wanted to hurt you. You didn't hurt me. I don't even know you, I'm a farmer. You know what? My New Year's resolution was to let it go, and I am. I have, I've let it go. Danny, this is Dr. Stevens. She'll be tending to you prior to surgery. So I guess I'll be seeing you around, Dr. Stevens. I hand it to the guy trying to get some action when he's practically a corpse. Alex, he was just trying to be nice. No one. It's not gonna happen again. Okay. I'm serious. We're friends, and it didn't work. We tried to be more than that. So, as fun as it was, it's not gonna happen again. Stop looking at me. I'm not looking at you. I'm rounding. I'm rounding too. Fine. Fine. Shortness of breath had a syncopal episode. Pulse is rapid and direct. It's Denny. What? It's Denny. Is it just go? Oh, you go. Um, I'm. I'm gonna stay. Yeah, I guess I'll just have to sit on being Izzy's type. So you two. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. You know. He may have said something about you guys uh, being together. Well, he had no business telling you that, and besides, it's not even true, so... Why the hell did you talk to Denny about us? You had no right! Oh, because you never talked to Denny about no, personal... I don't talk to him about our sex life, Alex. That is between us. Okay, got it. So none of your friends know that we're sleeping here. I'm sorry, are you saying that you and Denny are friends now? No, I don't become friends with my patients, Is You're an ass. You feel threatened by him. That is why you did that. There's no other reason! You're his doctor, Izzy, and he's your half-dead, possibly soon-to-be all-dead patient. How could I possibly be threatened by that guy? I can't believe you just said that. Someone's got to. Just so we're clear, we're over, Alex. This isn't over. Oh, you're breaking up with me over a corpse. No! No! I am breaking up with you because on your very best day, <laughs> that corpse is twice the man you will ever be. You're not good enough for me, Alex. You're not good enough for anyone. Denny's getting sicker. What? Denny's getting worse by the second. His uh, sats are in the eighties. Is he? I don't care.
hair up that that drawling bedridden whiner ever gets art. Alex, do this for Izzy. I'm not guaranteeing anything. Oh, you look nice. Thank you. So do you. Hot oh, dinner? Nah, this thing is cheesy. I wouldn't waste a decent check on this. <laughs> you heading in? Yeah, I'm just gonna see Danny first. Oh, okay. Izzy, that's not Denny. Shut up. Is. It's not Denny. The minute his heart stopped beating, he stopped being Denny. Now I know you love him, but he also loved you. And a guy that loves you like that, he doesn't want you to do this to yourself. Because it's not Denny. Not anymore. Alex do not believe you. Okay, well, what are you two doing? <laughs> Izzy and Alex have a patient who speaks about himself in the third person. They thought it was annoying at first, but now they kind of like it. Good. Izzy thinks this whole bright and shiny thing is getting old. Alex agrees. Alex is cool. You know that? Alex is the coolest. Oh, Alex knows it. <laughs> Izzy isn't so bad herself. Oh, Izzy is rocking. Izzy is back in the game. No ways in all your thunder. Got me in a haste running for cover. Alex, I'm sorry, I can't. Where we gonna go from? I didn't know you still felt that way about me. Me neither. I can't. I'm sorry. Alex gets it. Alex is sorry, he's such an idiot. Can Izzy buy Alex a drink? Alex would like that. <laughs> Izzy can. <laughs> you. I guess not interested really meant not interested. <laughs> yes. You didn't want me. Yeah. But that doesn't mean I want you to want anyone else. I'm going to be alone hanging over a dead guy forever. No, I hope not. It's kind of a waste. <laughs> I'm supposed to move on now. Do people look at me and go, She's got to get over it already. It's ruining her life. You'll move on when you're ready to. You have to promise not to say anything to anybody. I swear. I swear. Jeez. I slept with George. What, I'm invisible now? What do you want? So you hate me now, too. Well, join the club. You and O'Malley. O'Malley! What? What is it that I did that is so horrifying? I fell in love with Alex. He's married. Yeah. So, you're carrying a big old torch for Ava, or Jane Doe, or whatever it is that you call her, and she's married. So what gives you the right to judge what I do? Why do you even care? <laughs> you told me you weren't ready yet after Denny to be with anyone. 
And then O'Malley, O'Malley. And then you tell me like I'm one of your chick friends. Come on. We're gonna be late, you know that, right? I hate work. Since when? Since I hate it. What I'm saying is she's an optimist. She's the opposite of me. She's exactly the kind of person you want helping you, right? She frightens you, that's for sure. Shut up. Yang's got nothing on you. has turned into a very good man. What happened that I don't have anyone, but... I don't have anyone. What? I care about you. I care about you. And I'm not gonna stop caring about you no matter how hard you push me away. Shut up and get out of my room. No. I care about you. And I know you care about me too, but it's not too late for us. Get out of my room. Admit it. Admit that you care about me too. I know you do. And I care about you. 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 I... You screw on other people or not? What? I just want to know if you're going to go off and screw O'Malley or some other loser. Because then I don't have to cancel my plans with the chick for Pete. <laughs> you're an ass. What? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? We've been sleeping together for a week and already you're bored. I'm hot and great in bed, so what is wrong with you? I thought you were sleeping with Michelle tonight. Or was it Jackie? Yes. I had a hard day, Alex. I'm a sad night, so can you please just leave me alone? Is he? What? I'm not good at this, all right? I'm not good at, at relationships or talking about stupid feelings and... And you are, so maybe you could teach me or something, you know? Tell me what I did wrong. You don't want us to see other people. You don't want us to see other people, and that's how you tried to tell me. <laughs> By asking if it was cool if you screw Michelle. Laughing's not help. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> So you want lessons, huh? I want lessons. Mm-hmm. Okay. You start with Isabel Stevens. You are staggeringly good in bed. <laughs> You're amazingly smart, wonderfully funny, and you care about animals. That's where I start. Yeah. And then you say, you want to go study with me. That's what I would say if it was 1952. That's what you want? I mean, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Something's wrong, Alex. You need to talk to her. She won't talk to me. Don't ever talk to me about Izzy again. <laughs> I love you. What? I love you. 
I freaking love you. I just got the solo surgery and the first thing I did is look for you. And you weren't there. You're never there anymore. And I've been thinking about it and I I think it might be because you love me too. And because you're scared of that. And because I, I screwed it up last time and because Denny died and... Alex, look, just listen. You had that heart patient and it reminded you of Denny and how bad you felt when you were lying on that bathroom floor. I get that. I get that you're scared. But you're not going to have to feel like that again. Because I'm not going to die, Is, And I'm not going to cheat on you. And uh, I'm not going to go anywhere. I think you're my best shot. I think with you, you make me better. You make me want to be better. You make me want to be good. And I think I can. With you, I think I can. So I'm not going anywhere, and you can stop hiding. And if you want to be scared, that's okay. Just be scared with me. Be scared while you scrub in with me for my first solo surgery. Okay? You love me. Shut up. see you in 10 years. A little salt and pepper in your hair, a big shot attending. You're gonna be a rock star, Alex. Because I don't want to be the future of this hospital if you're not there with me. Okay? Okay. Izzy has stage four metastatic melanoma that has spread to her brain, liver, and skin. She may only have months to live and she's resisting treatment. She needs help. Shave it off. I bet you look good bald anyway. Okay? Hey. Stop. You're beautiful. You put the scarf on. I told you you don't need it. You look gorgeous without it. is hot. 
Please. Alex. Look, you went crazy. When Denny signed that DNR, you went crazy. Is that what you want? You want me cutting out ads? Oh you want to wreck my career? Because I will. I will freaking cut out ads before I let you. Just fuck this. Wait, stop. You don't get to quit. You don't get to quit on me. Please, tear it up. The DNR, tear it up. Where your eyes are supposed to be right now, I see white sandy beaches. And there's an ocean behind your head and there are ghosts wandering in and out. I can't live like this. And I can't live... If something goes wrong in that surgery, I don't want any extraordinary measures taken to keep me alive. It's not what I want. I went crazy when Denny signed the DNR because I didn't understand. I didn't understand, but now I do, and I need you to understand. I don't want you to go crazy. I want you to have a brilliant career, and I hope that I get to be here for that, but if I can't, I just want to go to the other side. I don't know what's there, but it's got to be better than hospital beds and tubes down my throat. Please. Please don't cut out that. Just, if it comes down to it, just let me go. Oh my God, I'm so scared. I mean, I would have loved you no matter what. Izzy. Yang! Izzy, look at me. Open your eyes. Page Shepard, Page the Chief, and Bailey right now. What happened? Is it her brain? No, it's hyperkalemia. We couldn't control the arrhythmias. The pressure's dropping off a cliff. Give me an intubation tray. Alex. She signed a DNR. Shut up, Yang. She knew this might happen. That's why she signed it. I don't give a crap what she signed. Alex, it's not what she wants. Get a crash cart. died in my arms. You freaking died and then you left instructions that I wasn't allowed to save your life. You want to know what I'm scared of? I'm scared of everything. I'm scared to move. I'm scared to breathe. I'm scared to touch you. I can't lose you. I won't survive. And that's your fault. You made me love you. You made me let you in. And then you freaking die in my arms. What do you need, Carell? I know you still have cuts to make at the resident level, and I just want you to keep in mind that Izzy Stevens is not 100% back yet. I mean, she's recovering. Look, look she, she, she just, she needs this. I have a hospital to run, Carell. I have two hospitals to run. Dr. Hunt, I had concerns about your stamina and emotional stability, and Dr. Carell has questions oh, about... Alex said something to you? Dr. Webb. Well, performance is evaluated. The largest consideration is budgetary. There was simply no room to stand.
saw you back or... Well, did you want me to come back? Because you told the chief you had serious doubts about my abilities to be here. What? You went behind my back and told the chief I wasn't ready to be here. He was making cuts. I was protecting you. You got me fired, Alex. Is that what you think? This job was the one thing I had left. The one thing. And you took that away from me. You interfered and got me fired. I have forgiven you for a lot, Alex. I've had to forgive you for a lot, but I cannot forgive you for this. You made an assumption. You decided I did something. You didn't ask. You didn't hang around to talk. I am your husband, and you didn't give me the benefit of the doubt. So you know what? I can't forgive you either. Tell me everything. Did you beat them? Did you kick their asses? Izzy left me. She wrote a note and she left me. I... I don't, I don't, I don't know if she's coming back. W what do you mean she left? Where did she go? <laughs> Alex, Izzy's coming. Izzy's coming? Home. Oh, crap. Izzy is coming home. No one needs to know. Hi. Know what? Tree. It's just a job. It's just a job. It's the thing you come home from, not the thing you come home to. And if you lose your job, you get another one. Because there's always another one. But if you lose your love, if you think you're losing your love, then suddenly nothing else matters. This is what you guys talk about during lunch? I'm with them. Love comes and goes. Surgery doesn't. Alex, I have to know. When Mayor called, she said you were moving on, have you? Moved on. I slept with someone. Oh, damn it, Alex. We'll get through it. Surgery. Oh, it was good. It was, uh, it was fine. It was... You wanna see? <sighs> I'm so, I'm so glad. Ah, oh, I'm so glad. It's like it never happened. Yeah, but it did. It all happened is... <laughs> You got cancer, and we got married, and you died, and you lived again, and you, <laughs> you left, and you came back, and we got through it. I got through it, and I'm on the other side. Yes, I love you so much, and I, until I met you, I, I used to think I just wasn't a good guy. I, growing up in my family, and that's what they told me. But now, after all of it, I know that I'm a good man. And I thank you for that. Because I know now that I'm good enough not to deserve this. Not to have to feel like this. Not to love you so much that I almost hate you. I deserve someone who will stay. job and I want you to go and be happy and not come back Izzy wants a divorce she sent the papers the official papers I'm gonna kick her ass
Alex. Alex. Yes. I'm sorry. Don't go. Oh, we got married. Please don't go. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Always. Yeah.